welcome back to the Power Mister Channel. In this video, we will walk you through the complete firmware upgrade process for the PowerShell Smart LBM 12K hybrid inverter. Please note that the firmware upgrade for this inverter includes three parts: the slave control firmware, the main control firmware, and the display firmware. The upgrade sequence is very important. You should start with the slave firmware. Then upgrade the main firmware and finally the display firmware. This order must be followed carefully, cause if the firmware is upgraded in the wrong sequence, the previous update program may be overwritten or become incompatible, causing the inverter to malfunction or fail to start properly. Before starting the upgrade, make sure the inverter is not under load. Turn off both the PB input and AC input circuit breakers, and in the basic setup menu, set communication address to one. Then remove the Wi-Fi module from the communication port. This is important because the Wi-Fi module and the upgrade port share the same communication line. If both are connected at the same time, they will interfere with each other and cause the upgrade to fail. Next. Use a printer cable to connect the inverter to your Apple computer. Download the required firmware package on the computer. You can obtain the latest firmware by contacting our after-sales service or by reaching out to our support email. Start by upgrading the slave firmware. Open the corresponding firmware package and launch the upgrade program. Select the correct communication port and the under firmware type. Choose Control MCU One Firmware. Then select the appropriate firmware file and click Upgrade to begin. Once the upgrade starts, the inverter screen will automatically turn off. When the progress bar reaches 100%, the inverter will restart automatically, completing the upgrade. After the slave firmware is upgraded. Repeat the same process to upgrade the main control firmware. By this time, set the firmware type to normal firmware. When both the slave and main firmware upgrades are complete, you can proceed to upgrade the display firmware. First, insert a USB drive included in the inverter package into your computer. In this PC, right-click the USB drive and select the format. Be sure to set the file system to FAT32. If you are using the original USB drive provided with the inverter, formatting is not necessary. However, if you are using your own USB drive, it is essential to format it first and make sure the file system is correctly set to FAT32. After formatting, copy the display firmware file into the USB drive. Then safely eject it. Next, insert a USB drive into the inverter's USB 2 port. The inverter will automatically start upgrade process. Once the display upgrade is successful, the screen will show display update successful. And that's it. You've successfully completed the firmware upgrade for your PowerShell Smart LBM 12K hybrid inverter. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.